Hey guys, let's talk about the relationship between insulin and glucose. It is very important to know how insulin plays a role in glucose absorption, especially in the case of diabetes where not enough insulin is produced. So right here we have glucose and glucose will be represented by the color green and what glucose does is that it tries to get in the cell but it gets bounced off because there's no insulin to let it pass through. So there's this large gland in the body called the pancreas and what that gland does is that it produces insulin. So right here I'm gonna use this color to indicate insulin. So what it does is that pancreas produces insulin and it releases insulin in the bloodstream and um, it helps get glucose inside a cell so the insulin will line up around the cell and it will make a path for the glucose to be able to enter in like this so once the glucose is able to come in the cell then the glucose can be used for energy because you have glucose inside a cell and glucose is the main source of energy for the human body. So I made another animation to help demonstrate how this whole process works better and uh, I'm gonna show you that video in a minute so um, let's go to the next um, slide. Okay, so uh, the green in this case is glucose. So basically what it does is that you have glucose, so pancreas is like, oh no, there's so much glucose in the bloodstream. So the pancreas releases insulin, and the il insulin goes to the insulin receptors. And uh, once they go to the insulin receptors, insulin is like, hey, dormant protein, can you go to, can you go to the GLUT4? And uh, the dormant protein goes to the GLUT4, and GLUT4 goes to the cell membrane. And once it goes to the cell membrane, the glucose is able to come into the cell. And now the glucose can be used for energy. And yeah, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so now since you know how uh, glucose and insulin work, now it's important to know how they work in diabetes. What is, how does insulin play a role in diabetes? So in type 1 diabetes, you, have, you actually don't have any insulin. So if you don't have any insulin, the um, glucose just goes there and it bounces up. It goes there and it bounces up, meaning... The insulin is not getting inside the cell and the cell isn't able to sustain itself because it's not getting any form of energy. And with type 2 diabetes, you have very small, very uh, little amount of insulin. So that insulin still goes here and you have insulin right here and right here. But the problem is that insulin is not a lot. So um, you the glucose is still isn't the glucose still isn't able to go inside the cell for energy so because of these two issues um the cells aren't able to sustain themselves and they're not getting the energy that they need that's why in a lot of cases in like in type 1 diabetes you have to inject yourself with insulin or in like type 2 diabetes you have to eat medication to jump start the insulin in your pancreas so like when you consume food or whatever then um, the glucose that you have in your bloodstream, the insulin can come, help the glucose, gets inside the cell, and you just live happy, happily ever after. Thank you.